we're not telling the stories just of the artist or their paintings, we're showing our stories through the paintings, or we're showing our stories through the gallery. Journeys is an ambitious and multidisciplinary project. It's exploring ideas of art, identity and belonging through our collection. The project is made up of a number of different elements. We've worked with an animation artist to capture stories and responses to our collection through conversations with six different community groups. There is a co-produced display where we've worked with six local people to tell new stories about our collection through the lens of migration. It's really nice to be able to talk about something which is a contemporary issue, something that's relevant to our audiences, something that we can start to have a conversation with our visitors about. We'll also have a range of different events and workshops and public programmes that will sit alongside these two projects. When we started the project, we worked with all of our participants and all of our volunteers and we asked them, what's been a meaningful journey for you? What's been a journey that's been impactful on your life? I came to it feeling frustrated that people like me just aren't seen and represented in gallery spaces like this. And it's ridiculous because we're everywhere. Everyone has taken a journey in their life, whether it was for holiday or whether it was an economic migration or whether people are refugees or if they're asylum seekers. It was out of that frustration that I wanted to make something productive. And I think that's sort of the energy that I brought to this project. I'm a migrant myself and I've got a story about migration personally and being in this project has actually given me a voice to speak about my experience through the interpretations of the paintings. Some of the artists that we've chosen to spotlight here, they've all travelled but for different reasons. Canaletto came to London to earn a living and so many of us, either we've done that ourselves or our parents did that or our grandparents did that. Canaletto inserting himself in the painting was really powerful because in every journey, whether you like it or not, like the team, every journey leaves a trace. It's brought out another creative part of me. I wrote a poem, I actually didn't plan it. I wrote something down and everybody liked it. The king is unhappy because I was born. Yet, I am a greater royal with a crown of tongue. Out and away my family flown. Far and the way we sought refuge down. The time is now and I must return to home to receive my crown of turn. Actually, that has given me the will to like come back to the gallery and write a poetic response to every of the paintings. Each of the stories of the artist is not a new story and neither are our stories new. We see the sort of same themes and the same experiences happening over and over again and so the journeys that we take are really very similar to the journeys that they've taken even though we're separated I suppose by centuries and time and generation and class and money. What's really exciting about this display is that it's open to all of our visitors who come to the gallery. It also gives visitors the opportunity to hear community voices represented in the gallery and to hear new perspectives on our collection. The stories within the paintings can speak to everybody and the idea of the community curators coming together and telling their own personal stories, that can be related back to and actually find new inspiration through the paintings in our beautiful collection. I want people to come here and try to think about your journey in life. It might be your journey to walk or maybe to another country and look at these paintings and reflect on it. How do they impact your life? How do they reflect the things that you've experienced in your journey?